So you're interested in stocks, but you don't know where the best place is to trade with. With hundreds of stockbrokers begging for your money, it has never been more difficult to find the one. Think of all the emails, the physical mail, all the advertisements you see all over social media that's all about where you should trade your stocks with. That's why in this video, I will show you my personal top seven best investing apps so you can stop the researching and contemplating and start putting your focus where it truly matters, making that money. Stay tuned. Tell me how does it feel living that good life? Really What's going on fam? Justin Hauser here and welcome to the Justin Hauser Show where I go over vital information in only five minutes on how to make you financially smart and rich. Make sure you check the description below for show notes and links to all recommended products listed in this video. And most importantly, if you get value in this video, then let's help that YouTube algorithm and smash that like button because believe it or not, it's free, takes about one second to do, and it is the best way to show your appreciation for the 20 plus hours that I put into making this video all while getting paid zero dollars. And subscribe to my channel so you will not miss any of my future videos. So let's get right into it. The top seven best investing apps. Choosing an online broker is one of the most important decisions you will have to make to start investing in the stock market. There are hundreds of different brokers that you could pick from, and what makes it even harder is that it's totally dependent on your current situation. There's never one particular broker that's right for everyone. So starting the countdown at number seven, and then going all the way to number one is E-Trade. E-Trade, in case you didn't know already, is the pioneer of online trading for retail investors. Founded almost 40 years ago in 1982, E-Trade has been a dominant leader in the trading arena. In fact, they were recently acquired by Morgan Stanley for $13 billion on February 20, 2020. This was huge news in the financial sector as this was the biggest acquisition by a major US bank since the collapse in 2008 of the stock market. So what are the pros of using E-Trade? It's free. One thing I hate most about stockbrokers is these ridiculous fees. You won't have to worry about this anymore with E-Trade, however. Thanks to a pricing war started with Robinhood back in October 2019, stock and ETF trades are now at $0. Even option trading is at $0 plus a mere 65 cent per contract. And the second pro is their mobile trading app. Their ease of use and super rich features make this top of the line. They do offer two different kinds of apps, E-Trade Mobile and Power E-Trade Mobile. However, I recommend you use the free E-Trade Mobile app for regular stock trading and Power E-Trade Mobile app for option trading. Their charts are super clean and very in-depth. In fact, you can have up to 40 different indicators on the charts at any given time. And the third pro is their education. E-Trade provides a wide range of educational topics ranging from stock trading, and they also offer monthly webinars as well. And the fourth pro is their type of investments offered. You can not only trade stocks, but also trade options, Forex, and even IRAs. So what are the cons of using E-Trade? The first con is the navigation. E-Trade's website can be extremely difficult to navigate due to how big the site is. The second con is their transfer fee. You will have to pay a $75 full transfer out fee or a $25 partial transfer out fee if you decide to leave. The third con is a customer service. While they are getting better than before, I have had quite a few issues getting the proper customer service in the past. And the sixth best investing app goes to Weeble. Weeble is the new guy in the arena. They launched their app back on May 30th of 2018, but they are already a top contender in the investing space. So what are the pros of using Weeble? The first pro is that they're free. Not only do they offer $0 commissions, but they also offer a free stock simply by opening up their account with them. Then if you make an initial deposit of over $100, you will then receive a second stock valued between $12 to $1,400. If you wanna sign up for Weeble or any of these recommended stock brokers or any of these investment apps, Check the description below. The next pro is the minimums. Webull offers a $0 minimum and no hidden account management or other fees. And the third pro is their transfer fee reimbursement. You will get reimbursed for your transfer fees when your initial transfer fee is $2,000 or more up to $100. Fourth pro is their research. They offer real-time market data, news, stock screeners, and different technical indicators. And their fifth pro is margin trading. They also offer margin trading up to four times margin intraday and two times overnight. So what are the cons of using Webull? The first con is their investment vehicles. Webull does not support options, mutual funds, bonds, crypto, or penny stock. The second con is their customer service. 
This needs to be improved since they do not offer live chat and their phone customer service is severely lacking. And the fifth best investing app goes to Acorns. Acorns is basically an app that helps you automate your investing. So what are the pros of using Acorns? Their first pro is their Roundup feature. This is what the app is so famous for and what has gone viral over the past year. Let's say that you wanna buy a burger for $4.70. The transaction would be rounded up to $5 as that extra 30 cents would go to your Webull account. They also have the option where you can automatically multiply that amount by a 2X, 3X, or 10X. This is a great way to start investing without even thinking about it. And the next pro is their hands-off approach. They offer robo-advising and not individual stock trading. And their next pro is their automatic rebalancing. When you're investing Roundup, money goes into your account it is actually invested into an index fund depending on your risk tolerance. It is also automatically rebalanced for you at no cost. And the next is customer support. They offer 24 hour phone and chat feature for their investors. And yet another pro is their cash back option. Acorns has a partnership with over 350 companies such as Airbnb, Nike, and Walmart where you get cash back when you use the linked payment method. So what are the cons of using Acorns? The number one con is their management fee. Now this really depends on what your total balance is to see if it is a pro or con. In short, if you have $5,000 or more in your retirement account with Acorns, it's a pro. If you have less, it's a con. The Acorns app has a three tier payment plan, the basic, plus, and premium. For the basic plan, which costs a dollar per month, you get the Acorns Invest. This includes a spare change roundup feature we talked about, cashback feature, and educational help through hundreds of different articles. For the plus plan, which costs $2 per month, you get the Acorns Invest and Acorns Later, which includes the option to have your retirement account set up through the app. And for their premium plan, which costs $3 per month, you get the Acorns Invest, the Acorns Later, and the Acorn Spend, which is their in-house checking account. And the fourth best investing app goes to Fidelity. Fidelity is the most seasoned company on the list as they go back almost 75 years, and they're also one of the largest as they have over $7 trillion in total customer assets. So what are the pros of using Fidelity? The first is free. Fidelity offers $0 trading commissions on stocks, ETF, options, index funds, and over 3,500 mutual funds, which are unheard of. The second pro is the research. They're unmatched in this category as they are partnered with over 20 third-party providers for stock research and ETF research from six different providers. Their next pro is their platform. They offer trading on their app, website, and even a desktop app for more active traders. They have advanced screeners, real-time quotes, multi-leg option trading, and even advanced option tools where you can store orders for later and also place up to 50 orders at a time. Their next pro is their customer service. This is where they shine. They have amazing customer service, both online via the phone and chat, but they also offer in-person guidance with hundreds of locations nationwide. So what are the cons of Fidelity? Their first con is navigation. Their website is extremely complex and can be hard to navigate. Their second is the mutual fund fee. For mutual funds not in their no fee program, they charge a $49.99 fee per transaction. And the number three best investing app goes to TD Ameritrade. TD Ameritrade is another huge brokerage company that has been around for a long time, actually almost 50 years now. So what are the pros of using TD Ameritrade? Number one is free. Stock and ETF trades are free using TD Ameritrade. The second is their platform. I know we're talking about the best investing apps, but let's talk about their desktop platform called Thinkorswim. With dozens of charts streaming real-time data, over 400 technical studies available, the ability to plot Fred data, earning analysis tools, and even the ability to paper trade, which I think is a huge must that you have to do before trading stocks with real money. The next pro is the customer service. There's not much to say about this, but they're the Amazon customer service of the investing world. And the next pro is mobile trading. Their mobile platform is a beast as well. This is the easiest and most customizable app on the market by far. They offer an Alexa skill, an integrated Facebook Messenger, an Apple Business Chat, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto to fully embrace the future of artificial intelligence. And the next pro is their education. Their platform is like going to college, but for stock investing. With organized courses with quizzes, 200 plus videos available, and hundreds of webinars and educational sessions, their education is par none. So what are the cons of using TD Ameritrade? The first con is their commission and fees. 
While they do offer free stock and ETF trades, they do charge for some items, such as a 65 cent per options contract and a 695 flat rate fee for trading penny stock. And then number two, best investing app, goes to M1 Finance. M1 Finance is a robo-advisory service that was started back in 2015. They've been making headlines recently in a good way by really competing with Robinhood for being the most well-known and talked about investment app online. M1 Finance is more for long-term buy and hold type traders. You select your own investments as they provide portfolio templates referred to as pies, but unlike normal robo-investors, there is no questionnaire that you gotta fill out to determine your risk tolerance. So what do you do? You decide the risk that you wanna take with M1 Finance. So basically, you can invest all your money into one of these pre-built pies or customize it to fit your needs. M1 Finance will then manage your account by rebalancing it and allocating your new contributions automatically. So what are the pros of using M1 Finance? The first is it's free no broker fees or commissions. The second is their dividend reinvestment. Once your dividend income reaches at least $10, it is automatically reinvested back into your portfolio. And the third pro is their fractional shares. This is a unique feature that they offer where M1 Finance will maintain your pie allocations this way. So let's say that you wanna buy a normal single share of Amazon. It's gonna cost you $2,400. Well, with fractional sharing, you can get it for a fraction of the cost, let's say 10%, and still reap the rewards of having having Amazon stock in your portfolio. The next pro is their long-term investment. Through their use of their pies, it is almost hands-off and offers a really unique way to see how your investments work visually. So what are the cons of using M1 Finance? The first con is your active trading. If you prefer to actively trade stocks daily, such as a day trader, then this app will not be for you as this is not allowed. The second con is no mutual funds. They do not allow you to purchase mutual funds, but you can still purchase ETFs and individual stocks. And the number one best investing app goes to Robinhood. Look, unless you've been living under a rock for the past couple years, then I'm sure you've heard of Robinhood. Robinhood shook the entire investing world when they introduced these commission-free trades, which at the time were unheard of. So what are the pros of using Robinhood? Yes, you guessed it, the first one is free. Robinhood offers 100% commission-free stock, options, ETF, and even cryptocurrency trades. The next pro is the minimum. Robinhood offers a no account minimum to trade unless you wanna trade with margin, which requires a $2,000 minimum portfolio balance. And what's cool, you can also start investing with them with as little as $1 due to this next pro, fractional shares. Just like in one finance, Robinhood offers this as well. And the next pros are high yield savings. They currently offer a cash management account that pays you 0.3%, which is better than a normal checkings account at your bank that usually pays about 0.01%. It also comes with a debit card, free ATM withdrawals, and offers FDI insurance up to $1.25 million, which is way higher than the normal 400,000 that's offered to normal banks. And their next is their interface. They have a super easy interface on both the app and website portal that makes trading super simple and really quick. So what are the cons of using Robinhood? The first con is their customer service. This is the worst aspect of their app and is what I genuinely hate on every time I use the app. So Robinhood doesn't say this in black and white writing, but I've noticed when you actually sign up for the Robinhood Gold, which costs $5, you get way better customer service. It also allows you access to professional research reports and also allows you to margin trade. So if you don't like being on hold, you might wanna consider that $5 a month fee for Robinhood Gold. The next is dividends. They do not allow dividend reinvestments, which I hope will change in the soon future. The next is no retirement accounts. You cannot buy into a retirement account with Robinhood which again, I hope is gonna change in the future. So maybe you notice M1 Finance and Robinhood is really similar. So how do I choose in between? It's simple. In short, if you wanna trade stocks daily, then use Robinhood. If you're more of a long-term type investor, then go with M1 Finance. So there it is, the top seven best investing apps. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, can you smash that like button? Now it's time for question of the day. What investment app do you use or do you plan on using? Please leave your answer below in the comments as I would love to connect with you. And remember, God sees you and he loves you. See you in the next video.